Hey, Ken here at Waters Garden Center, and we're talking fungicides, mildews, spots, leaf spots on fruit trees. How do you deal with that? We're into some complicated stuff. We're running an expert. We've got John Ford here with Bonai Corporation. His company puts together some of the most advanced leaf fungus. Basically, it's athlete's foot of the foliage. That's what we're dealing with. How do you deal with that? You almost have to have a PhD in a plants. Well, John's got that PhD. John, welcome to Waters Garden Center. Thank you for having me. So I've got powdery mildew, this white mass is covering and suffocating my foliage. I've got shot hole through my, through my cherry trees where just holes are forming through the foliage. I've got brown leaves on my house plants. Where do you even start? What, what, what are all these mysterious products on the shelf? How do we teach our employees and consumers how to use them? Well, I think the best way to start is uh, to see the samples. You need to bring in what you've got and let us identify it because it, unless you're using the right product for the right cause, um, you're not going to get the results that are sure. needed. Most fungicides, nearly all of them are preventatives, which means that if you know you've got a rose that's going to get powdery mildew or you know that your geraniums or your, your uh, uh, plants are going to get rust, then you should treat preventatively for them. And then for like the cherry trees that you mentioned, those are all dormant applications where you've got to treat before the plant actually comes out to prevent that from happening. Gotcha. And it's all a matter of when that's, that's applied. But to, to start off with, the copper fungicides are organic or what we call for organic gardening, the National Organics Program. That means that they can be used in many cases up to the day of harvest. The copper fungicide is a preventative for the fruit trees that you mentioned, like the leaf spot on cherries and so on, or apricots, that kind of thing. This is one fungicide that you can apply to apricots for that, for that problem where you get the, the leaf spot. But it's just as effective for mildew and can be used on herbs and, and vegetables up to the day of harvest. So once you come down to the nursery and identify your problem, then we're gonna sell you the copper fungicide. It's more of an all-purpose it even has a lawn application in the concentrate. So now I've, I've often I'll just show folks what that is. Copper fungicide is the actual organic. If you're an organic gardener, go with this. Uh, let's say you've got mildew on pumpkins, squash. Uh, some of those, that's I notoriously am getting leaf spot on my tomatoes. Uh, my, I seem to get, uh, my cucumbers and squash seem to get mildew. This is what I'm using and I'm comfortable eating the plants after the, the, the product or, or fruits afterwards. So, okay. And now then, we go to the more hardcore stuff. What I've got serious problem, I got black spot on my roses. Uh, mildew is taking over my uh, spotting on my, my aspens or whatever it is. What the consumers are, are gonna wanna see is, is some result of the product. When they use the coppers on the powdery mildew, they'll notice that on the pumpkin that Ken was mentioning, that when the new leaves come out, they don't have the problem that's when you begin to see the product work. On the infused products or the liquid systemic fungicide here, these are actually curatives. And the active ingredient actually causes the plant to enhance its color. It's gonna give the consumer the ability to see the result of the product. It'll stop the fungus dead in its tracks. So it's more of a curative rate. It's not natural by any stretch of the means. Infuse, this is, uh, I don't wanna mess around, it works. Right, and um, it can't be used, generally speaking, on edibles unless you're not planning on eating the fruit for a season. So this is really more designed for the ornamental applications and does list some of the fruit tree applications, but you can't eat the fruit for a year. Gotcha. Right. So good. So trees, shrubs, roses, right. Any, flower anything beds. That you're not gotcha. Right. Anything gotcha. that you're not consuming. Now there was one other infused. They took that product into this. Can you explain this product? It's actually a granular product. They must have infused somewhere. Uh, Slightly different active ingredient, um, but it works systemically, so it'll protect your lawn. It'll absorb into the plant material of surrounding vegetation to help protect it from soil-borne diseases. It's not gonna control powdery mildew, but the leaf spots that you mentioned and protecting your bulbs and some of the issues that plants have, um, it's certainly a good protective curative rate for lawn gotcha. disease. And this is a granular, so you sprinkle it on the ground. The others were liquids, so you actually spray it on the foliage of the plant. And so, good. Any other advice you can give our 
Well, I think, I think the best thing to understand about fungus is, is one, identify them, bring them down to the nursery, um, share it amongst yourself here at the store when the sample comes in so that you can identify what's going on, and then read the labels so that you understand how to, how to use the products. I can tell you that horticulturalists, the plant nerds in the nursery, we love to see samples, because we, especially things we've never seen before, we look at it as a, a challenge. How can we figure out what this is and to cure it? So if you need to, bring a sample inside a Ziploc baggie. That way we don't spread it to the healthy plant material. We're glad to help you out here at Waters Garden. So thanks for tuning in.